on I am back with another graph problem so this problem is called course schedule 2 okay so let me just zoom this problem in this problem there are n courses which has a level from 0 to n minus 1 so you will be given this list of all the all the dependencies so in this case uh, the course uh, 1 shouldn't be done before completing 0 so you need to output w in what order you should complete the courses so that all such dependencies are fulfilled so let's take this example too so zero uh, one zero should be done before one and also two uh, zero should be done before two so zero appears before one and two in the result and three three shouldn't uh, three should be done after one completing one so three appears after one so there can be multiple such orders possible and let's try to let's try to read this problem statement again for some other cases uh, yeah there can be multiple correct orders but there can be a case that uh, there is a cyclic dependency between courses so for that case there is no possible way to complete the course and in this case you will have to return an empty array all right so that was all about the problem statement now let's try to think how we can solve this problem so i'm going to be using something called uh this is nothing but a topological sorted order so what is a topological sort let let me just brief about topological topological sort so in a directed graph if there is an edge from a to b then in topological sorted order uh, a should appear before b so that's the all that's all the idea about topological sort so if we can somehow get the topological sort of after forming this graph so what we will have to do is here in this case uh, 0 should be done before 1 so there should be an edge from 0 to 1 in the graph and also in this case uh, let's take this connection uh, this dependency so there should be an edge from 1 to 3 it indicates 1 should be done before uh, 0 uh, before 3 so okay let's get started with solving this problem so so I'm gonna be using uh, depth for search as well as topological sort so but the question is uh, what if there is a cycle in the graph so if we do the basic implementation of topological sort then it doesn't detect cycle in a graph in spite of having a cycle it will return some order which is not valid valid in this case because we want we should return an empty array so the first thing we need to do over here is uh, we need to check if there is any cycle in the graph or not so i'm going to be implementing topological sort in a in a way that it also detects if there is any cycle then it's going to return true so that we need not to compute anything again so let's try to do that uh, first of all i'm going to rename this to n and pq now what we need is let's try to declare all the data structures that we are gonna we are gonna need so i cannot deal with this uh, pair array so what i need in is i need a graph adjacent to this so i'm gonna be using array of list let's call it g now i need a status array i need a status array so in this area i'm going to be storing whether a vertex has been visited or not so let's call this a status so why i'm not taking it as integer it will be clear in a moment uh, i don't want to do this simple depth first search i will be using some modified version of depth first search to fulfill all the condition and i'm going to be doing a single depth first search call so it will detect cycle as well as a topological sorted order now the return type of this is an integer array so let's declare that result array over here so this will contain all the values and so let's imagine that we are doing the first search and adding all the nodes now the nodes if we are adding in, uh, for, for depth first search after doing depth first search then all of those nodes will be added in reverse order just think about that because in depth first search we first visit the parent and all of its children 
uh, so all of these children will be visited first and that will be added in the result then the parent so we don't want that that is actually wrong topological sorted order so the correct topological sorted order is the reverse order so we cannot just simply start adding the values in the result from the zeroth index so we need to add from the last so here let's declare the variable called index uh, so initially it contains nothing but uh, we will be initializing that to n minus 1 all right now so let's try to think what are the other things that we need uh, let's declare some constants uh, private final int let's say that unvisited is equals to 0 exploring is equals to 1 and done is equals to 2 so these are uh, different colors that will be assigned to the graph so I have declared constant for making the code more easy to read now let's try to do that the first thing is that uh, let's initialize index as n so now we need to convert to this and before that let's create those uh, status and result array so status will be new int of type uh, int of size n and result will be same uh, new new int of uh, size n and we need to allocate the memory for graph it will be of array of uh, it will be of array of array list of size n now all the values over here will be null so we need to iterate uh, from 0 to from 0 to n and fill this array so g i will be a new array list all right so that's it uh, now we are ready to start implementing but before that let's convert this uh, pair array into a uh, adjacency list so for that i'm going to be uh, I'm going to be iterating through, through this list. Let's call it at, as integer array edge uh, pq. Uh, let's take i, i is equals to edge 0 and j is equals to edge 1. So if there isn't, so this is actually what I said that if the course is in this way so there should be an age from 0 to 1 uh, so let's add that age in the adjacency list so in the jth list I will have to add the entry i okay that's it so our function is ready so we will be writing a function called uh, hash cycle so ha in the hash cycle we will be passing the size of the graph and it will return true or false and also it will add all the values in the result array after doing a topological sort so if there is a cycle in between then it's going to return true so let's try to return the actual data if hash cycle and then what we need to do is simply return an empty array otherwise all the data will be populated in the result list so we will have to return the result itself all right we are good to go and let's start writing the code for hash cycle so it will be of type boolean it will take int all right now here in this case uh, so let's say that uh, there are different dependencies like one is dependent on zero is dependent on sorry one is dependent on zero uh, two is dependent on three three depends on four and four depends on again 5 depends on 4 so in this case there you can see a cycle so if we do a simple depth first search by starting only with one vertex let's say that we start with 0 then we will not be able to detect this cycle because all of these components are not connected so there are multiple components in the graph so it will be the case that there will be multiple components in the graph so for that case we will have to iterate through all the vertices and check if the vertex is unvisited or not initially all the vertex will be unvisited and once we do once we keep doing that first search uh, some of them will be visited if 
all the component if there is only one component then all the vertex will be visited at the first depth first search call otherwise we will uh, remaining vertices will be uh, will be on a different component so we will keep doing depth first search until we visit all the vertices so that's the idea uh, let's also write the method uh, dfs so it will also return a boolean uh, it will take node as a parameter okay let's try to implement this after implement implementing hash cycle method so what i will have to do here is uh, i'm going to be checking i'm going to be iterating through all the all the nodes so here in this case i'm going to be checking if un unvisited is equals to equals to uh status of current node and and if that's unvisited then i will be calling this depth first search method depth first search uh, with the current vertex so if there is a cycle then depth first search going to return true otherwise it will return false so if we get all of this condition as true then it means that the graph has a cycle we need not to continue again so we can simply return true so if we will keep doing the first search and detect cycle in the graph once this has been done and if there is no uh, return true then it means that there is no cycle in the graph so we can simply return false from this method all right so now in this method what the, now the question is how we are going to be detecting a cycle so so uh, the condition for having a cycle is that when we try to visit a vertex then we keep uh, when we try to ex initially all the vertices vertices will be unvisited now when we uh, discover that vertex we will set exploring uh, status to that vertex so now again from the neighbor if we get some of the vertex which is already been explored then it means that uh, there is a cycle so that's the condition for cycle but what if uh, from neighbor itself we get some other vertex which is already done it doesn't mean that there is a cycle uh, let's take an example let's say 1 2 is connected 2 3 is connected and uh 3 uh 4 1 is connected now if we keep doing depth first search then uh one will be explored uh, at this point this is a single component of the graph and then there there will be four one so four in in this case uh, we will get four in the unexplored vertex because we cannot uh, reach to four from one but again four will call its neighbor which is one in this case one is already one will be already done so it doesn't mean that there is a cycle so that's the case we will have to handle now let's try to code this uh so first thing is that i'm going to be checking if the status of the current node is explore, exploring then it means that we have re we have reached to the same node so there must be a cycle so let's return true otherwise if the status of the current node is done then there is no need to do anything there is no cycle so we can safely return false otherwise okay so once we do that we uh, so if two of the conditions are not satisfied then it means that we are visiting the node for the first time so what we ha will have to do is make status of uh, let's use the constants uh for it will be exploring and done so let's make the status of the current node to exploring so when we uh, then we can uh, we will have to iterate through all the neighbor of this node so from g node we will be getting all the neighbors and simply we need to check if dfs neighbor is returning true 
then we can simply return true we need not to do anything because we got a cycle in the graph uh, so we are calling the neighbor so we need not do do anything now once this is done so what we will have to do is we will have to add the current node in in the in a in a reverse order in the list so first make uh, this status to done a status of current node to done because we have we are done with visiting the current node so it will be done uh, now from here what we will have to do is uh, in the result array let's call minus minus index so we are decrementing the index initially the index was n so we need to add from the last so we should have to decrement the index and it will be the node itself all right now from here we can return false because if we reach to this point it means that there is no cycle till this point so we can safely return false so that was our code and let's try to execute this code Cannot find symbol unvisited. I have done a lot of silly mistake. Forgive me for that. It's accepted. Uh, let's try to submit this code. All right, it works. So that was it for this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video.